Good morning. Um, <laughs> that's the way that it was. All right. Good morning. I am removing the seatbelt bracket here this morning. And I've got my handy dandy tool. I'm using a five, no, 15 millimeter um, socket. And then I'm very happy to take this out and replace the seat because I didn't mind that it was mounted to the wall, but um, it was riveted up here where the ceiling, not every school bus has them mounted this high. I was in one yesterday and it was just mounted on the wall, which wouldn't have been as big of a deal. But this gets in the way a little bit more and it will be just so nice to remove the seat and I'm gonna buy a swivel and I'm gonna use one of the seats that I have that have a seat belt and I'm gonna have myself a new seat. cover kind of just popped off here. You lift, there was the cover on here and they just lifted up, by the way. Just so you know. Now it's loose enough that I can turn it to the side, get this the rest of the way out. Now this part's free. We turn our attention to this. Now, this can slide up and kind of get out of the way. And I was hoping I could reach these bolts behind here, right there. But I don't, I don't think it's gonna get in there as good as I need it to. I'm gonna try because that will just be a lot easier than taking this out and then taking this out and then taking this. It, let's just see. No. It's not gonna work. The angle's not right. So I'm gonna have to find this bit, which this was a special bit. So I get to share that with you. Cause I've taken this down before. The only problem is, the only problem is, I have no idea where this bit is at. Yeah. It's expensive, so I gotta find it. Oh my gosh, I found it. Oh, you guys, my garage is so unorganized right now. I'm trying to keep it organized, but like, yeah. Okay, here it is. This little guy was hiding in a bucket and of one of the many buckets that I brought in here when I was doing stuff and just tossed it in a bucket. Yeah, not a good idea. So I need this little, okay, I don't know the names of things, but this is the little socket thing that goes in your drill. So you put it in your drill. And then you put that little socket thing in there. And that one is a T50. Now everyone, yours might be different. Okay, yours might be different. Mine was a T50 and you go to the hardware store and you tell them that you need something for seat belt removal. Um, they will probably direct you to a T45 or a T50 and that is how I found this guy. I think I started with the bigger one and it wasn't big enough or it was too big and then I got this one. Anyways, here we go. Pro tip, make sure it's in reverse. That was it. <laughs> that's all it. That's all it needed. But you see, this isn't your everyday, ordinary thing here. Yeah. There's one more. So, right, I had to slide this down and, 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 get, and get this one. It's out! Well, there's the seat belt, but I still have 
this to remove, which I don't know what that is exactly size, and then these bolts back here. And this is where it was riveted, which I removed when I took out the ceiling. I'm going rogue. all the way if I can get to it. It's almost through, but I'd rather not fall with it. There we go.